Hey man, this is Gun Knives and Watches. Anybody watch that there Gun Knives and Watches channel, man? Like years ago, man. Like whoa, almost a decade, man. Long, long, long time ago. Probably five, six. Hell, man, years ago, man. Back, 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 long time ago, man. Knows I had one of them there Max Edition Vultures, two, man. Uno Dose, man. <laughs> and we need some, some Dose, man. <laughs> Hey, it's like two fingers. No, man, I need three or four. Fill her up, boy. It's a Friday night. We talking about that there Max Expedition Vulture 2. Of course, mine was a different color. It was one of them there tannish type situations, man. <laughs> man, this was like green, dude. Anyway, a friend of mine and I went in on a couple packs and, uh, because they had one there, buy one, get one free, man. So you buy one pack, you get another one free, but it's got to be in this there greeny type color, man. And this greeny type color, man, is, is very greeny. And uh, we got us one of them there uh, uh, thingamabobs, man, that holds that there thermos on the side, man. And that's one of them there, like, four inch. It holds one of them there. Whoa, look at that boy. <laughs> we got it out there. And Mary Molly Badim, man. <laughs> no, it's not Molly Badim. It's in their pals webbing, man. Molly. We got them their 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 uh, uh uh clean canteen and we ain't bent this one up. But anyway, this is of course lined, insulated, this there or the other. The reason that is is so that it does not freeze in really cold situations. And that's kind of important. Of course this uh we gotta get that there zipper working a little bit better, and we got a pouch on the outside, man. With that there Velcro, man. And we got that there, man, webbing. It's just looped in through there, dude. But it sticks out about five and a half inches. That's kind of an issue. Um, if you don't mind something sticking out from your pack five and a half inches, that's fine. The Vulture 2 is about, you know, 2,100 cubic inches or something like that. And just to prove it to you that I actually have this pack rigged up, uh, and it's not full of that there padding, man. We got that there stuff, man. Three millimeter trash bag. We got trash compactor bag, and got that there, you know, all that stuff, man. You got to get that stuff, man. Some lock sacks and all that, man. Of course, you can put whatever else back there. Got that mappy type situation stuff like that. And then you yeah, got your other pocket, man. If you are unfamiliar with this pack, you are uh, been under a rock for a really long, long time. We got all our stuff, man. And we got our flashlights and our headlamp and a, a knife for somebody else. And then our lanyard things, man. And uh, the ride in the rain notebook, all that type stuff. Of course, there's a lot of room left in this thing because I don't tend to... Uh, on any of my packs, I don't pack them even close to capacity uh, because you always want to put stuff in them. There's always more stuff to go in the top package, man. And uh, of course, we got that there ball hat and the thing, man, and all that there stuff, man. We got that there Aqua Quest start, man. And uh, of course, in this backpack, the way it's set up, got our food bag, which is also waterproof. Big old thing, man. Mercy, man. Man, man mercy. First survival, man. First aid, man. We got to, got our, of course, we're going to go on a vacation or something, man. You got to take that there solar panel and that there sun jack, man. <laughs> Battery. Because this thing, man, is, is, it's a godsend. It really is. Um, and it's really affordable. And anybody that hasn't, like, seen it, uh, has been under a rock, man. You gotta get out from under that rock, boy. Get out and do something, man. Sun Jack, these things rock and roll in reality. And it's got a, even comes with a short uh, micro USB uh, cord, which charges this, but it also charges our Samsung phone, so I don't uh, even have an issue there. And then we got our man, our, our plastic type container, we, which works as a food thing. One thing I did change, though, and then of course we've got our other type of stuff in there. In this pack, because it's more of a type of, of you know, man, it's a little more more serious, man. 
I got my Morse pot because my Morse pot is 1.8 liters as opposed to the titanium uh, Snow Peak, which is 1.4. And that 0.4 might be because we're just throwing some food in here. Man, going to climb a mountain. Man, going to do something. Man, going to have that there aluminum. Man, woo! Pot. But one thing cool about it is is that, that they're a knife edge type situation, stuff like that. Because it again that their that their buck knife, man, that their uh, that their uh, what is it called, man? I don't know. The buck knife, man. You get can make some whoo just right there, man. Whoa, yeah, there we go. And uh make that work. And it of course with all the webbing and attachment points, of course, you wind up and look like a fucking crazy ass loon. Uh, because you have a greenish type baggage pack them with all kinds of that their molly badium man that their mole man it's molly man and that their pals type situation devices man <laughs> Woo um the one problem I have with it and this is really the point of the video is <clears throat> the back panel of this thing Basically, there's no frame and all you have is padding. Well, what I simply did was I simply cut and am I going to upgrade this? Yeah, and I'll make a video on that, but I took one of those road signs <laughs> This is Really windows uh, some window place uh, donated their sign to me because we were doing some work and uh Literally, all I did was I marked a center line down through it, and then at certain heights, I went and marked various and thundery things, and then I cut basically these out by freehand. But what that does is it gives it a frame. And is this a, you know, you want it to be flexible because you want it to bend and you want it to do things, but you want it to have some weight, some strength. Now, what I'm going to wind up and do is I'm going to do take some high density uh, polyethylene sheet that is one sixteenth of an inch which comes out somewhere around oh less than three millimeters um but it's 0 0.06 of an inch is what one sixteenth is and i'm going to reform i'm going to recut this this was basically my template <coughs> so i don't ruin any material <coughs> they didn't want these back anyway and uh, and going to basically put a frame sheet in there uh, because as you can see I can take this and bend it back over what that does is it allows me to transfer the weight over to the belt is this the best belt and all this other type stuff configuration no uh, but it works uh, the Kelty uh, map 3500 is a much more refined pack than this one is but then again they had the uh, benefit of people that actually <clears throat> use them all the time this there or the other and this is basically a a hard use civilian type pack um, and let's see if we can get that to go back in there boy and you just sliver back in there um, and as you can see, it, it sticks out just a little bit right there, man. But I may have it backwards. Yes, I do have it backwards. But anyway, um, I didn't say I was perfect at that. But that's basically the way everything fits in. Uh, one other thing about uh, now that it's got a frame and it's a lightweight frame, the only thing that I find odd is I my water container uh, sticking out like this am I going to possibly put it on the inside probably not because I've already got this I already had the uh, them there webbing type situations man and uh, just going to outfit it a little bit different uh, this is going to be more of a, a bush crafting type kit um, or Possibly, you know, whatever. I don't really know. These are very durable packs. There's just, they lack a little bit of refinement, uh, the ones through Maxpedition. But, you know, 
it's 80 it was 85 dollars for this pack and then uh this wound up to be 20 uh some dollars and i know you can get the ones from condor you can get the ones from that but they had the buy one get one free and uh, these were three pieces and i'm going to roll some other pieces in that we actually purchased on the order um but these were actually purchased to go together and uh Am I going to be happy with it? Now that it's got a frame, yeah. Um, before it had a frame, I really was not very happy with it. But we'll see how it works out. Does it look like you're a deranged lunatic when you're wearing it? Yeah, unfortunately. Um, but that's uh, kind of par for the course. Uh, it has a lot of versatility. And, uh, and for the way we, in which we bought it, it was very affordable. The whole this whole pack you could basically get uh, with the buy one get one free if you went in with a friend uh, for around um, probably 110 115 dollars. We ordered some other pieces, um, so I can't give you an exact uh, can't give you an exact price, but it's just part of it. Um, and I need to flip these back under and around and through. But I'll do that here in a minute. It's, I got kind of tired of messing with it. That's the one thing I really, really hate about lacing that stuff. But this is Guns, Knives, and Watches. And uh, the Maxpedition Vulture, uh, Vulture 2. Are they going to come out with a Vulture 3 here in the next little bit? I would probably say. Usually when they do the buy one, get one free, it's about the end of something's product cycle. But they came out with the Falcon 3. So I would probably say they're going to come out with uh, this one here pretty quick. This is Guns, Knives, and Watches. And if you miss the buy one, get one free from Expedition, or if you, uh, if you, you know, like their gear for just throwing around this there or the other, it's, it's not bad. It's all Teflon coated, heavier than hell. Uh, but now that it's got a frame in it, it actually, uh, it doesn't actually ride all that well. I mean, doesn't ride all that bad. Um, but <clears throat> it's not for the real small guys. You know, this is how much extra I have. Uh, so if you're, if you're very small, you know, it might be something to not think about as far as a weight, uh, a waist of around 30 inches or so. But my guy... My, my big butt's around a 32 right now, so uh, it's just coming in there. This is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and have a good one.